Good morning, everybody. So today is actually a very special day. We're gonna vlog it for you guys. Um, I actually just got home from work, like right when Tiana woke up. It's about 8 a.m. I was on call in the hospital last night, but it wasn't busy at all, so it was a really good night. And we're just having an early morning tea party, which is really fun. We're eating dinosaur egg oatmeal and enjoying this rainy Saturday. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say we're waiting for John to wake up, but I hear him coming down the stairs right now. Look at my video, my video. Look at her you video. You make a video? Uh -huh. Good morning, baby. Hey, where's my tea? Oh, thank you, baby, you're the best. Is this a cappuccino or is this just a tea? Water. Water. <laughs> I'm making coffee, but then I remembered I wanted to show you guys what my sister sent me for Mother's Day yesterday. So she sent me a five minute journal. Mother's Day is actually tomorrow, but she gave me this yesterday. And then a mama and mini like matching mugs for Tiana and I, and then a box of tea and half of it is like decaf fruity teas for kids. The other half is for moms. So it's super adorable. Thank you, Nicole, for the thoughtful gift and the chocolate bar that was in there that I already ate yesterday right when I got it. All right, so we're getting ready to go get the doggy in a little bit, but yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, it was first. But first we have to clean up the house, right? And we have to set it up with the gates and the beds and everything? Yeah. Which means first Tiana has to clean up her toys. Uh -huh. Are you ready to clean up your toys? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, start cleaning up your toys so we can get ready for the dog. No. Uh, clean them up, not play with them. Look, I have a fever. I have a fever? Oh, what a coincidence. I have a fever now, so now she has to be a doctor. I have a fever, Daddy. I have, still have a fever? All right, you're gonna give me a shot? Okay. Where are you gonna give me a shot at? I'm scared. In my hand? Dad! Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Thank you, baby. I feel so much better. Yeah. All right, now we gotta clean up the toys because we gotta go get the doggy. I'll race you. Go! Mm, mm, mm. Oh! Almost. One more. Yeah! Can you show everybody the doggy's bed? Right here. Tiana's doing just a little bit of office work before we go. Baby girl, you're gonna be ready to go in a minute? Yeah. We know your work's important, so we'll leave you to it. Okay, dollar piece. You wanna type on the computer? Sure, go for it. We're getting ready to leave to go to Goodwill to get Winston some stuffed animals because we heard he loves them and also to go pick him up. But I wanted to tell you a little bit about the situation first because I didn't really elaborate this morning. So we're gonna be fostering Winston for a few weeks. Um, he's severely malnourished and underweight and weak. You'll see that when you meet him. We're gonna be fostering him, feeding him extra food, giving him extra loving until he's all healthy and ready for his forever home. We actually met him yesterday, so I'll show you that footage while we're on the way to Goodwill because it's adorable. <laughs> We made it to Goodwill. Tiana's enjoying a snack per normal. John wanted to tell you a little bit about fostering while Tiana finishes her snack before we go inside. Yeah, just real quick. We get a lot of comments sometimes when we bring in these foster dogs that we're bringing a strange animal into our house and that's true. But please keep in mind, we've been fostering animals for over five years and there's a whole process to this. Before we ever even get a call or a text about a foster dog, they actually work with a behavioral specialist first at the shelter. They make sure they're good around other humans and kids first. And then like Rihanna just showed you, we go up to the shelter and introduce ourselves before ever bringing that dog home. Once the dog's home, we're also super careful. So I just wanted to put that out there that we're not just bringing strange animals into the house that we haven't met before. And with that being said, let's go get this doggy some toys. You ready? Uh huh. Let's go. You guys, Goodwill is popping on a Saturday. Who knew this was like the hot spot to be? Were you expecting it to be this busy? No, it is super busy. Um, what is that? Aren't we here for toys for Winston? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I don't think Winston needs a little cell phone. Okay, look, I need your help real quick. Mm -hmm. We need to pick out three stuffed animals for Winston. Can you help? Uh huh. All right, let's start choosing. Uh, Ooh, that, is that a good one? No. That's a, you don't like this one? I think that's a good one. All right, little bunny foo foo Winston. Little bunny foo foo for Winston. Okay. Uh -huh. Ooh, a purple one. Two. All right, one. All right. This one? Uh -huh. All right, that's three. Good job. Okay, the music's really loud in here, so I can't talk a lot, but I'm actually gonna go back through these animals and pick ones that are safe for dogs that don't have like little pieces and sequins and things. But Tiana did a really good job. Yeah, we're gonna get Winston. While we're waiting for the staff to get Winston ready, we are looking at the kittens. Oh, little babies. They have a lot of kittens right now because it's springtime. Look who we have. We now have Winston and he is ready to go. They actually gave us a bunch of stuff to take with him. He's on a high calorie diet, so they gave us some special food and some special paste to put in his food. They also gave us some dry food because they want us to try to reintroduce dry food back into his diet as he gains weight. And we're just super excited to help this guy get back on his feet, gain some weight, and hopefully uh, find his forever home very soon. Are you ready, Winston? We're ready. He is so sweet and you guys will tell, oh, kisses. We'll tell you the full story of him when we get home. All right, so we just got home and actually the first thing we do with our foster animals is we give them a much needed bath. Tiana is already getting the water started for the doggy. Thank you, Tiana. Let's see how he likes water. So you can tell how skinny he is, especially now that he's wet. Look at how, oh, that's so sad. Poor buddy, we are going to fatten you up. Don't you worry. We're gonna give you all the loving you need. I'm not sure if you can see this on camera or not, but the water is almost brown. He was so dirty, so he really needed this. Oh, he's nice and clean now and smells good. And now you can get on the couch. <laughs> Now's the time when we watch out for the infamous first P. <laughs> and we have you blocked off from the carpet, sir. I know you want to pee on that rug, I know you do. John was getting hangry, so now he's eating peanut butter pretzels like it's cereal. My hands were dirty from giving Winston a bath, and I was too hungry to wash them first. This is actually a great way to do it. So they actually sent us this really cool bowl and it actually helps him from eating too quickly. Sometimes these dogs, when they've been starved for so long, when they finally get food, they eat it so quickly that it actually makes them throw up. So this bowl has like kind of a maze design on it and it keeps him um, from just eating it all at once. And you can see he's right there. He's waiting. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he is a hungry boy. We're actually gonna feed him outside for the first time because they said he's a very messy eater. We want to see for ourselves <laughs> firsthand what that means. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff right there. Um, I'm not doing well today, you guys. So I just wanted to get on here and say John's a real champ. Oh no, you're doing fine, babe. He's picking up all the slack. I'm like, I'm very overstimulated and overwhelmed. I don't know why, but I am trying to keep it together. You're doing a really good job. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're about ready to tell you about Winston's story. So Winston came from the shelter. He was brought in by somebody as a stray, but they don't know where he came from. He was obviously like in a neglect situation. Um, so his main problem is just that he's emaciated. When he came in, he was so weak, he couldn't even hold his head up or stand up. 
so he had an IV and they were giving him nutrition and everything. And um, now he's better, he's still pretty floppy and like can't walk properly, his mouth is a little bit floppy, but he needs to probably gain like 20 or 30 pounds and then he should be stronger. Um, he is on some antibiotics because he does have wounds and cuts on his legs in various places, but we're glad he's here now and hopefully all this resolves and he doesn't have any long lasting health issues. So he's a really sweet, hungry boy. We've been giving him a lot of treats and he's settling in just fine. I wanted to take a second to actually talk to you about today's video sponsor, Ethos. Traditionally, life insurance has been confusing, time consuming, and expensive. Ethos, on the other hand, focuses on creating a seamless customer experience with a mobile first online application process. And by eliminating blood tests and medical exams, you can get a quote in seconds, apply in minutes, and in most cases, get covered in the same day. You just need to answer a few health questions online. Life insurance is something people tend to procrastinate, including us. According to Investopedia, each year, you wait to get life insurance, rates increase by eight to 10%. And according to the Life Insurance Marketing and Research Association, women are less likely to have life insurance than men. You might be thinking, why Ethos? So let me tell you my whys for Ethos. Number one is they're making life insurance fast, easy, and accessible to all. Number two is their credibility. They are a trustworthy company and they work with top rated carriers to get you the insurance plan that's right for your family. And my final why is right over there, if you've been hearing noises in the background, she is playing right next to me and we want to make sure she is protected no matter what happens. If you're interested in learning more about Ethos or you're interested in getting your free life insurance quote, click my link in the description below. Again, you can get your own personalized life insurance quote by clicking my link in the description below. Little update, um, Tiana is now a ghost. Winston is napping over here, super comfy after his two lunches. And Tiana and I are playing over here when she's not a ghost. So it's been a very nice afternoon and we're just gonna let everybody chill for a while before we head to the pet store. When Rihanna said she wasn't doing well, she wasn't joking. <laughs> she's now in the play area with a unicorn blanket sleeping. Hey, should we wake up mommy? Yeah. I, I don't know, is it a good idea? What? All right, you try first. I'm not going in there, it's dangerous. Hey, gentle, gentle. Maybe if you give her a big kiss on the cheek. Well, she has awakened. <laughs> and we're gonna hope that coffee brings her back to life. And I we're... feel a lot better now, I think. Let's all hope. <laughs> hmm. Hold on, look. Look what Tiana made me for Mother's Day at school. I forgot to show you guys. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that Look how big your hand is. Oh no, it's so sad. Oh. Gotta take Winston for a little pee pee break before we get in the car. Uh oh. Uh oh, lost a shoe. <laughs> hey babe, I know we're headed to the pet store, but can we also go to Aldi? Anything for you, babe. It is Mother's Day tomorrow. I know. So I have to say yes to everything, right? For the whole weekend? Yeah, I think so. Ooh. <laughs> Can't take these two anywhere. <laughs> but look what I found. They got new meals. Got them for lunch for the week, and I'm really excited to try. No, Winston, you can't have the guinea pig. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Best day ever. Eels. What color do you think we should get for Winston? Ooh, what about this one? Yeah. You like that one? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think we found a winner. Yeah, he really likes it. <laughs> okay, I wanted to show you Winston's haul really fast. So we got him some milk bones with the original OG dog treats. We got him some hip and joint shoes because as you could see, he has a lot of trouble walking with his hips and his knees. And then we got him these vegetable shoes. 
Um, Beamer used to really like these, so that's why we decided to go with them. We got him a collar, because he didn't have one, and then we were gonna get him a tag with his name, but we weren't able to do that this time, so we're gonna do it another time. Um, we got him some cookies, which he already ate like half of them, and this nylon shoe, which he really wants, but I wanted to show you, so now I'm gonna give it to him. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not like any vegan options really for dogs. Um, so we can't, people always ask if we feed them vegan, but it's like nearly impossible, especially when they have health issues like this. Um, if there was a vegan option where we went, we would obviously buy that. And I think there is one vegan dog food on Amazon, but he has to eat special dog food for his condition. So there's the answer to that question if you had it. And now we're actually about to make dinner. I wanted to show you guys really quick how I make dinner when we all want the same thing, but a little bit differently, if that makes any sense at all. So here's Tiana's. She wanted nuggets, so we got them from Aldi, and she has strawberries, avocado, and cucumber on her plate. Um, and then John got nugget tacos, or chicken tender tacos, with the same ingredients that I used for my salad, which is what I wanted, because he doesn't like salad, so he got that. And then we also have fries and ketchup, because everybody kind of wanted fries. So we all have basically, hey, how'd you get up here? <laughs> the same thing, just a variation of it. And it works out really well for us when we do this. So my salad looks the best out of everything. Don't even lie. It has all the goodies on it. Yeah, mommy. Sprouts, you want to try? Here you go. Mommy, mommy. You want to try sprouts? Yeah. Yum, try. Yes, you boy. <laughs> yucky yucky good morning everyone it's the next day so last night after dinner Tiana was actually really tired and she asked and she asked to go to bed which she never does but that means she was up bright and early this morning at 6 a.m uh-huh and Winston had a wonderful night. He was such a good boy. He slept on his nice fluffy bed and um, he wasn't really interested in coming upstairs. I think it's hard for him to get up and down the stairs. So we just let him hang out. Um, it's actually Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mamas out there. John just went to get us first watch for breakfast, which is one of my favorite things for breakfast. And I said I didn't want to go out to eat today because I know everything's gonna be crazy busy. Good morning, everyone. Serena actually doesn't know I'm vlogging right now and that's because I'm actually heading towards one of her favorite restaurants, or at least favorite places to eat breakfast. It's called First Watch. And the intent was to surprise her. Uh, but if you guys know, when you have babies or toddlers, surprising each other becomes exceedingly difficult. Because I actually set my alarm for 6.30 a.m. to get up and get this food before she ever woke up. Uh, but guess who woke up at 6 a.m.? That's right, baby girl. Um, but that's okay. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to say, Happy Mother's Day to you, Rihanna. You are absolutely the best mother baby girl could have ever asked for. Um, you guys just, it's incredible to watch. I mean, I knew you were going to be a good mother. I just didn't know how good, and you exceeded even my highest expectations. So thank you on behalf of Tiana, and thank you on behalf of me. I love you with all of my heart. Thank you for all that you do for us. You are a very special person, and I mean that with all of my heart. I love you, babe. You deserve this day, and we are going to do the best just to spoil you. Love you so much. All right, let me see if I can get baby girl. Tiana, Tiana. Hi, hey, hey, Winston. Hey, baby girl, look, 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 look. Listen, listen, listen. Take, take this to mommy and say, Happy Mother's Day. Oh, baby, thank you. What is it? What is it, baby? What is it? We didn't get any for you, Winston. We're just about to get him something here. Let me hold it. <laughs> All right, babe. Well, happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I'll let you take over vlogging the rest of the day. Okay, thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. 
Okay guys, so we got the spread going on from first watch here. This is my favorite. We have their fried potatoes, they're delicious. And then we have toast with almond butter and the AM Superfoods bowl, which is chia seed, coconut pudding, granola, and fruit. I'm so excited to eat this. Let me get a bite of this. Look how good. Mm. We're on the move for the day. I think we have a plan. First of all, we're going to take before pictures and video of two flip houses for John because they're supposed to start demo tomorrow, right? Yeah, Monday. possibly. There's always like the fine line where construction wants to get started. But I also want to get before video and pictures because it's really cool to see the before and after. And then we're going to head to the park. Tiana and Winston look very ecstatic about that. And then I think we're going to go to the store um, and get ingredients to make a cake because me and Tiana want to make a Mother's Day cake. Why don't you want me to make it? You can try if you want, but Tiana said it's... No, because it's Mother's Day, I won't make you a cake because that's actually the nicer thing for me to do is to not make it. <laughs> that's true, and I really love baking, so it's going to be a fun activity for me. And Tiana now says it's her birthday too today. Of course it so, is. So I think we're going to have a fun afternoon. It's beautiful outside. All right, we're at house number one. John's gotten all his pictures in his video, but I was gonna give you guys a little sneak peek because you know the full tour will be up on his channel, but this house is a mess. It's gonna be a really good before and after though. Okay, there's no handle. Da -da -da. Doesn't look so bad until you get over here and see that there's holes in every single floor. So needless to say, this is a really interesting house. It's gonna be a really good before and after. I can't wait to see it when it's done. And now we're heading to house number two. House number two is only 1.2 miles from house number one. So this is actually perfect. We're really close to it. We made it to house number two. It's looking a lot better than house number one already. And I'm excited to see inside. So obviously when we first get here, we actually let Tiana go in first and make sure it's all safe. She inspects all the rooms, make sure there's no squatters and stuff in there. When she comes back out and tells us it's safe, then we go in. So it's just a strategy we do. We want everybody to be safe here, in case you were wondering. But in all seriousness, I actually go in there first. I check it all out, make sure there's not a ton of mold or anything. We don't want her to breathe in anything weird. Uh, if it's an okay house, if it's like recently moved out of, uh, then she can go ahead and come in with us, but we usually carry her as well. So I just don't want, I don't want you guys to think we're just walking into old musty houses that are broken down uh, with her. Uh, we don't do that. Tiana actually spotted a tree house. So that is where we're going right now, and John's going inside. But she is so excited to go in this tree house. Let go, shave. Okay, yes, you're right. You stay right there, and mommy's gonna check if they're safe, okay? Uh huh. Okay. You'll fall off. I won't fall off. I'm not by my step. Wow. Hi, hi, again. What? Yes. That's a fence. Look nice. Oh, you got flowers? Oh, they're beautiful. How do they smell? I uh, never. Oh, come here. You have something on your face. I think it's a little bit of lunch. <laughs> or boogers. Wow. Wow, look at you. You're like a mountain goat. How is it up there? <laughs> oh, are you scared? You're not scared? Yes, yes. You're brave. Yes, yes. My shirt now. Oh, you need help? Okay. My, my jump? Yeah, you can jump. I'll hold your hand. Okay. One, two, three, jump. Whee! Yay! <laughs> Look who's here. Can we All come right. in? Yeah, it's safe to go in. Come on. Whoa. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff already. Guys, real quick, if you're interested in seeing the entire tour on these houses, it gets pretty interesting. You can actually go check it out on my YouTube channel, John Scholler. Look at my foo -foo. Oh, you found a bunny foo -foo? Oh, can, let me see. Can I see? <gasps> wow, that's pretty. Real quick. I'm sure people are wondering how we get these houses and why we get them so cheap. Exhibit A. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's going to take a ton of money to fix and it's probably why the people just chose to move out of here. Now why they left all their stuff behind, it happens a lot and it's beyond us. 
that's crazy. We're back home now. I'm in the kitchen making dinner because we're all very hungry. And I was gonna show you what we're having. I'm just snacking on some cherry tomatoes and bell peppers. Um, Tiana was snacking on a little bit of ice cream because I figured if I just gave it to her, she would just eat a little bit and then get over it and wanna eat dinner. But anyways, we are having, wait, I really need to clean my stove. Don't judge me. I'll clean that or John will. Anyways, we are having Beyond Sausage and Asparagus just like roasted on the stove, if that's how you say it, and roasted potatoes straight from the bag. Alexia has some good stuff. So that's what we'll be having for dinner, and then Tiana and I will be making a special dessert snack, and it's actually not cake, because we ran into some ingredients problems in the store, so I'll show you what that is in just a little bit. It's time to make cookies. I'm um, going to make cookies. Are we gonna make cookies? Uh-huh. Okay. Ingredient number one, I just went ahead and measured out the ingredients to make this a smoother process. These are very easy cookies. Pre-made mix. There you go. Now, would you like to mix it? <laughs> she just needs a lot of cookies. Yes. <laughs> would you like to mix it now? Mm-hmm. And then it won't be rainbows till we add the sprinkles. Oh, yeah. Okay. You can taste it? Nom, nom, nom. Mm hmm. Okay. Should we just mix in the sprinkles? Yeah, mix the sprinkles. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So John has offered before to get me like a cake or cookies or something from an actual bakery. But I love baking and I especially love baking with Tiana. So for Mother's Day, I wanted to make something ourselves. Plus I feel like the stuff you make yourself just tastes better. Well, not all the time, but today. Okay, so you make it in a ball and then you drop it. Okay, you go. And <laughs> what do you think about baking? No, yummy. Yummy? Wow, you got some cookies ready for the oven? Remember, inside the oven is hot. Hot, so we be very slow. Yeah, slow and careful. Okay, ready? You hold that side, I'll hold this side. That got very hot, okay? Don't touch the bottom. Okay, you stop right there and then push it and I'll put it in. Yeah, thank you. They're not done yet, I know. Do you think cookies take too long to cook? Yeah. How long do you think they should take? Five minutes. Five minutes? <laughs> I think they take 12 minutes. Yeah. The pancake cookie had to make an early exit from the oven. The rest are almost done, but Tiana is excited to try. Okay, Chef Tiana, here is your pancake cookie. Yeah, no pancake cookie. No, no pancake, no one. You made this one. <laughs> no, no one. I think you should just try one bite. Mm. Is it good? <laughs> a new one. But you still want a new one? Mm-hmm, with you. And yet you can all work. Hi, everybody. <laughs> you saying goodnight to everybody? Night. <laughs> it's time for Tiana to go to bed. And I want to say, Thank you, Tiana, for my great Mother's Day. I can't do this. Just so you say, you're welcome, Mommy. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. <laughs> Love you. I had the best day, you guys. Well, thanks for being the best mother to Tiana. <laughs> Thank you to you too, babe. <laughs> hey, guys, look who came to see us. I knew I felt something. Hey, Winston. Hey, Winston, you made it upstairs. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. 
<laughs> All right, come on, Winston. We got to get out of here. Will you be this room is shirt? a mess, girl. <laughs> <laughs> she hit from that one. All right. Hey. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the gigantic bed bugs bite. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> There has been a change of scenery, a change of plans for tonight. So somebody that I work with was sick and they texted me and asked me if I would come in for them and work tonight because they were here for 24 hours, but they really wanted to go home and sleep. So I said, okay, I live near the hospital. It's no big deal. So now I'm at work from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. So that will conclude this vlog. I came in after Tiana went to sleep. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, and as always, we will see you next week. Oh, if you're still here, I'm still here. I just wanted to let you know I'm actually on call in the hospital, so I do get to sleep if there's no cases. So don't worry, I wasn't up all day and planning to be up all night as well. Okay, bye. I just filmed one portrait, and you're going to be mad at me for it. Why would you do that? <laughs> I'm also showing you guys what I'm dealing with. <laughs> It just looks so much better, and your beauty just stands out. And it's like, oh, oh, they can see perfectly. Look at this, just so pretty. Everybody, 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 my finger. Is that what I sound like to you? Uh huh. Oh my gosh. Oh uh, my, my, oh my gosh. She <laughs> <laughs> dread. Tiana's mad because we're making her sit at the table to eat her food. She thinks she should be able to just walk around the house and eat.